My concern are, are certain assumptions. Like people who are struggling with this, they can use this struggle to help others. That's correct. But if you are still struggling with it, and you help others process it, but you don't have victory, how in the world are you going to help them eventually? These are the basic realities. Our struggles, our problems, there is no problem that is so big that God cannot resolve. I've seen people, they have to take medicine for life to heal their mind, to heal their anxiety. I've known them, I've seen them delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of God's Word. So to answer your question, definitely there's healing. I want you to imagine, imagine there's no healing. How are we going to encourage others? Are we just going to tell people, well, it's okay, I'm struggling with it, so let's all struggle together. That's one kind of healing. But that to me is not God's design. God's design is very simple. Jesus said, I came that you might have life and have it abundantly. That's why be careful when we read secular literature or even so-called Christians claiming certain things. It has to be biblical. And the biblical is this. God is bigger than all our problems, and God can solve our problems, and God wants to solve our problem. But the question is, are you willing to recognize it, admit? Are you willing to go to the root problem? It might be painful because it is really you. It's not about your loved ones. It's not about your relatives. It's you. And are you willing to re recalibrate? Are you willing to renew your mind? To recalibrate your mind, there's no shortcut. You've got to study the Bible. You've got to meditate on it. And lastly, are you willing to always put God first? Make Him central? Are you willing to be prayerful? For more videos and resources, visit the CCF Main YouTube channel.